I was absolutely astonished to discover that the journey of Mary Poppins to the screen had been not only so long, I mean, over 20 years, but so fraught. It's a really, really strong script and a sweet script and a script that is as much about what it is to grow up and be affected by your relationship with your parents as it is to do with the creative process between two creative giants, you know, one being Walt Disney and the other being P.L. Travers. Introducing the creator of our beloved Mary. Poppins, never ever just Mary. Now, where is Mr. Disney? Disney had never, I don't think he'd ever come across somebody who wasn't thanking their lucky stars that they got to work with them. Well, 20 years ago, I made a promise to my daughters that I would make your Mary Poppins fly off the pages of your books. She was very suspicious of him, but she was also an intellectual snob, so she enjoyed the feeling of having this very powerful man kissing the hem of her garment and offering her everything. He, she loved that feeling. Mrs. Travers, what am I missing here? I'm wondering what I have to do to make you happy. Well, of course, Pamela Travers was originally Australian, but Pamela came to England when she was about 20, and she became more English than a cup of tea, and, and I think that's where her creation, Mary Poppins, sprang from. Weirdly, even though the whole thing is set in America and Australia, it does feel like a British film. It's a film that was written in Britain and that has been developed in Britain. You know, I think the film holds on to its sort of British heritage really, really well. Room here for everyone, gather around. Constable's responsible. Responsible is not a word. We made it up. Well, uh, unmake it up. When I read the script, I couldn't believe that Disney was making it because I thought it was not only a fair assessment of Walt, but proposed a human portrayal of Walt. And because of that, I found him more endearing. I mean, he's a hero to many of us, and he's um, he created Disneyland. He is sort of he's very much part of the American culture, and so for the first time to see him on screen is quite exciting. It's not just a matter of the happy myth of the, of the ever-smiling, ever-benevolent Uncle Walt, which he was to an awful lot of people, but, uh, you know, he had, a, he had his cocktail at the end of the day, and he did not necessarily like P.L. Travers when he first came around. There's a little bit of child in all of us. Maybe in you, Mr. Disney, but certainly not in me. Get on the horse, Pamela. I never thought that Disney would allow us to A, make a movie about their founder and B, let us take all the songs from one of their most popular films, but they were amazing. And not only that, they allowed us to be really truthful with it. I won't disappoint you. I swear, every time a person walks into a movie house, they will rejoice.